So our previous examples, we were given information about the concentration, and we're finding, and we were finding, the equilibrium constants. Now what we want to do is, kind of heavy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the equilibrium constant to figure out equilibrium concentrations, okay? So here, example 14.8. Consider the following reaction. You have to consider it. COF2 in the gas phase, the equilibrium of CO2 and CF4. No. You're not considering it. You're a rebel. You're not. Tro specifically tells you to consider the following reaction, and you're not going to do it. You're a rebel. All right, so we've got the equilibrium constant. K sub C equals 2.00 at 1,000 degrees Celsius. All right. Uh, so now what we want to do is use that to find equilibrium concentrations. Okay, this one's going to be the easiest. Okay. This one's the most straightforward. Then uh, the next ones are a little bit uh, more complicated. And not that, that, that much. Not that much more complicated. Just we are going to have to use the ice table. This one... What we're looking for is just one equilibrium concentration, and we've got the rest, okay? So first, let's write out the equilibrium constant. I'll tell Tro you didn't consider this. I have his email address. I doubt he reads my emails anymore. But. So K sub C equals concentration over products times... CO2, concentration of CO2 times CF4 all over the concentration of COF2. Square what? Square. square? Should we square the which one? COF2? Yep, we always have to raise the concentrations to their coefficients, right? Okay. All right. All right, now let's see what we got. So in the problem, we're given K sub C, so we got that. We're given the at equilibrium, so it's at equilibrium. COF2 is 2.255, so we got that. Concentration of CF4 is 0.118, so we got that. So what are we looking for? What is the concentration of CO2? So that's what we're solving for. So we're just going to rearrange this. We're just going to rearrange this uh, equilibrium constant and solve for CO2. Okay, you know what the funnier part about that? Uh, I didn't notice that. I just turned around and it's gone. Um, so apparently I'm changing the... I'm changing the slide just by accidentally touching my screen somehow. I don't know what's causing it. Like, that would be nice if I knew how to do that, like, on purpose. Maybe it just swipes. Oh, it is. just swipes. That's what you guys are here for, to help me. Oh, that is nice. Um, so we're solving for ZO2. So let's uh, multiply both sides by COF2. So COF2. Uh, you could. You can put in the numbers and do a little bit of math to solve that. I'll just do my algebra first. Okay. Oh, I have to multiply by CO2 squared, right? Yeah. And then what? Divide both sides by CF4? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now I got CO2 equals K sub C times COF2 squared all over CF4.
Well, I just rearranged it to solve for CO2, so I put CO2 just on my side. I just flipped it. That's <coughs> because now I'll just say that equals and then start plugging in my numbers. So our equilibrium constants, 2.0 times COF2, which was what, 0.255. Squared all over CF4, 0 0.118. In my defense, most of the time I'm using my, uh, the computer, or you're just using it like a laptop. So I did get it for this specific purpose, is I wanted to make more videos, like I did for uh, Gen Chem 1, but it just it, it takes time. You know, get... I might just have to redo all these next semester. This is like my practice run for you guys. <laughs> Eventually, I'll start producing something quality. So what do we get? 1.10. All right, what are my units? Molarity. Molarity, good, yes. So equilibrium constant had, didn't have uh, units, but when we're talking about concentration in brackets, it's always molarity, right? And we could have even uh, written them in, you know, 0.25 molarity, molarity, squared cancels that out. But I'll just warn you, they're not always going to work out as nicely as that. Sometimes it just, if you have a cube on top and a, you know, it just, you know, it might not work out. But as soon as you see that brackets, those brackets CO2, you know it's concentration molarity. All right, so that's the uh, most straightforward uh, way to use the equilibrium constant. Yes? Uh, no, typically uh, the temperatures are always going to be given, but they're not going to be used in the calculation. They're only given because equilibrium constants are always temperature dependent. So just like uh, you don't usually see it, but densities are also temperature dependent. So you might see a temperature associated with density. Densities change with temperature, so do equilibrium constants. All right, so the, the reason why that was so straightforward is because we were given everything in equilibrium. So all the concentrations were at equilibrium. Sometimes, like the ones we did last uh, lecture, we'll be given initial and equilibrium concentrations, okay? Or maybe just equal, in 